Yo, it's me, you know, low key. And I'm gonna be breaking down Mercury and Gemini. I'm gonna give like little, you know, my perception of what Mercury and Gemini is. And then I'm gonna be giving tips through this whole video. So, you know, I appreciate all the support and love I'll be getting. So, you know, I just wanted to take a moment to tell y'all thank you. And, all right, let's get right into it. So, Mercury and Gemini, it's going to be a time where you're more expressing. If you was a person who, uh, what's that word? E introvert, you'll become like an extrovert. And, you know, if you're an extrovert, you'll probably be more out there. So, you need to, like, cool, cool it. And, you know, try not to get too distracted, but try not to overlearn new things because it's a curious time. So you can be out here, you know, just trying to learn a bunch of new things to get distracted and just learning and not, you know, actually going out networking. This is a perfect time to communicate and, you know, get whatever off your chest clearly. So with Mercury being in, in Gemini, this makes it, you know, our thoughts like more faster more like you know it can make more sense but you know with it being a gemini you could also have thoughts that is not your own you could be a little too talkative so you might be extra expression like overly talkative like you know you know you're not letting nobody uh get a word in and don't get distracted by too many ideas instead of you know going out and doing one idea don't get distracted by all of them because you might get a, all a bunch of ideas you might never do them at all because you so you so distracted by how many it is but it's important for everybody to stay grounded you know that could be doing some type of breathing technique or going for a mindful walk so keeping yourself grounded through all these distractions, will have your mind on the on the information that you are supposed to embrace. And, you know, it's a time for you to change all of, you know, the old ways, the old expressing, old, you know, uh, thoughts that you were having. It's time to change all of that and, you know, become a whole new, like, expression, a whole new way you think about yourself. So, yeah. Just embrace, embrace the changes, you know, embrace the changes, embrace the, you know, your curiosity at this time, because everybody, the curiosity is like up in the roof right now. So you could be a person, you could be a person who just wants to, you know, ask so many questions instead of, you know, you, it's okay to ask questions. Okay. It's, I'm not saying it's not okay, but I'm saying you want to ask so many questions that you're not actually like out in the field. You're just asking questions. You're not, you know getting nowhere for real you just keep asking the same questions but i'm gonna be giving guys some tips for mercury and gemini though i wrote some things down but one more thing though if you are a person who has an entrepreneur or any type of like you do something from online right now it's a good time for you to go market yourself and network Right now, this is the perfect time because when it when it changes, then you know it's gonna be a little harder for you to even express the way that you needed to express. And right now, it's more uh, people could you know connect to or not necessarily connect but be, relate to whatever you're trying to say. They could you know feel like they can be a, a part of it. So if you are able to say it, then somebody could look at it from a perspective where they like ah. Oh, I see what they mean, and then they can help you get to where you need to go. But, okay, here's 10 tips. This is 10 tips for Mercury and Gemini. Okay, the first one, embrace your curiosity and thirst for knowledge. So, if you feel like you know it all, I want you to know you don't. And once you, once you get that, once you get that, you do know it all. Because it's always something to be learned. So, like, embrace the curiosity. If you got questions, ask questions. If you if you find you find new knowledge that you want to be interested in, intrigued about, go go into it. 
but don't get lost and distracted by that. Don't do that for the whole, you know, the whole transit. Don't let that be what your mind just focused on this whole time instead of, you know, using, you know, the knowledge you just got and using your curiosity to, you know, get you into a, a position that is not stagnant. The second tip for Mercury and Gemini Experiment with different forms of communication, such as writing, speaking, and social media. So you can write down your thoughts. You can type your thoughts on, on, on the iPod, I mean iPhone. Or you can make a, a YouTube channel or something, social media, and just say your whole ideas and let it, you know, just go off your chest right now. It's a good time for you to, you know, get out your comfort zone. If you're a person who's soft-spoken, it's a good time for you to just express your voice. Just get used to, your, get used to hearing how you sound. So do things to make you more, do things that, that's around intellect. So communication, writing to self, or, you know, networking with social media, using your intellect. Like, put your, what you can think of out there, other than, you know, what you think something you got is, you know, all that. Some people think they get this thing, that's all that matters. That's a whole different video. Right now, we talk about Mercury and Gemini. So, practice being an active listening. Like, when someone is speaking to you, be okay to listen, okay? Practice, you know, being acting at listening. So, just, like, hold your ear out, you know? Sometimes, you know, y'all don't got a, y'all don't, y'all got a listening problem. Like, a lot of people, they rather just hear their voice instead and, like, you know, actually, because sometimes y'all be thinking that y'all talking to another person, but really, you just wait until them to stop talking so you can talk about whatever you want to finish talking about. So, you know, right now is a good time for you to be a person who can just listen to what somebody's saying, you know, and hear what they actually got to say. And then if you don't understand, ask a question for you to, you know, have your own understanding of it. Because you won't get nowhere without asking no questions at all. You're just going to be thinking you know it all in the same small little, you know, ram of reality that you in. The fourth one, the fourth tip, be mindful for the tendencies to be easily distracted. So you might be, you know, you see, if you a dude, you might see a fine ass big booty girl jogging. You might get distracted off, like you was probably recorded a whole video. Then you look to the right, you just was like, hey, what's up? You you just forgot about the whole video because you was distracted. So, or if you a girl, he flaunted a bunch of money that he was not going to give you. So don't get distracted. Keep your eye on the prize. What's the prize for you? That's whatever you, you want to go get. That's the prize for you. Keep your eye on the prize. But it also will be easy for you to stay focused and work like it will be easy for you to keep your mind in a space of productivity and you can you know do the work efficiently do it with good effort and you know not half ass not half step doing it all right so doing it all right and doing it all right is whatever works for you because sometimes my right might be your wrong your wrong might be my right so it's like do whatever works for you and five Develop your multitasking skills. You know, be able to do multiple things, you know. Be able to talk to somebody on the phone and type a whole, you know, uh, essay book. Something. Be able to type a whole fucking email to, to your email list. Be able to, um, if you are a music person, be able to make beats and, and, and can uh, mix and master it. And be able to shoot music videos doing it. So it's like, at this time, you can work on all your multitasking skills and it could bring you to a a next level in your life, meaning that, you know, you will be able to do it with much ease, do it with much naturality, do it with much confidence. So it's like, the more that you, you know, you might not know how to do none of that shit right now, but the more that you get, you practice it, you're going to get comfortable with it. And the more you get comfortable with it, the more that it's going to, um, you know, be easier because the more consistent that you do something, the more, you know, uh, you get the hang of it. So also have the ability to work on multiple projects, 
not just you know say okay I got this this album I'm gonna get done boom that album done and you know waiting you wait until that album post before you get to working on your next album but what you should do right what you should do right you know this just this is me after you get that done make sure it's all done go back listen to it got all of it is you know it, it's all right work on the next one want to make sure that's all done all that done get get it all right work on the next one and then you can have it you know be ready to post it in these specific dates and times that you want it to be posted that's 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 for you know if an album but you know if you can't do all that then you know you're gonna have to you could do something else you could if you if you're working on a book you know work on multiple books work on part one of that book part chapter two like part two of that book you know like and then you know but first you always have to figure this out though Put it out first so you can see the reaction before you make a part two. Because if you make a part two and you ain't even like that, that then it's like, why, why would the why, why would someone want to listen to you if you don't even like your like 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 whatever you product produced? So keep that in mind if you're gonna be making multiple projects. Make sure the first project is something you love, and then it then, then it's something that actually is you know uh, needed, not something that you know. It's just there for the shit show. Also, be aware of your tendencies to overthink and analyze the situation and working on finding balance between thinking and doing. So, this back to what I was saying before I start breaking everything down. So, you have to, if you want to be, you know, have ideas, you're going to come up with something. You have to execute them or they're never going to be done. Nobody's ever going to see it. Nobody's ever going to hear it if you do not execute it. You can think you're the best. You can think you are, you know, number one. You can think you got all the bitches. You can think you you, you got all the dudes. If you're, You can think this shit. But if you're not actually doing it, all the thoughts, all the ideas of yourself is just a flippic imagination. It's a... a, a, a um, a fabric of your imagination is it's like it's like it's, it's not real it's because you you just not doing nothing it can't i'm not saying it can't be real i'm not saying it's not possible i'm saying that you can do it you just gotta stop thinking no no i'm gonna say stop thinking okay you could think about it right think it out go do it but don't be thinking for a whole week when the energy leaves because it don't stay for a long time but when the energy leaves and then you like, oh, let me go do it. And then it's gone. And then when you try to do it, it don't, it don't come out how, how, how you uh want at the moment. You seen it coming out. It didn't come out the exact way. And you don't got the the same type of oomph that you had when you had got the opportunity to go do it. And then, so basically, basically what you should do, come up with an idea, execute, and you know get the hang of that, get that into your routine, and you know you won't have to worry about that. But, you know, analyze the situations, you know, use your analyzation skills. I'm not saying just don't don't analyze at all. Don't worry about nothing at all. I'm saying to not over worry because at this time you could be a person who thinking overthinking instead of overdoing. Especially if you like a uh, uh, fire. Or earth. Nah, just fire and uh, water. Earth, I think they practicalize it. Air, they think about it too. Sometimes they just they they just, they just say shit though. They just say shit without really thinking about how it's gonna make a person feel. But yeah, so like real life shit, just you know, make sure you put a balance between your thinking and what you're gonna do. So think about it and then go execute. And then seventh, the seventh tip for Mercury and Gemini: embrace your sense of humor. Use it to break the ice in social situations. So, like, look, whenever it's something awkward, go for a joke or shit. You know what make me laugh? When I try to fake laugh. When I try to fake laugh, my fake laugh is hilarious to me. So it make me real laugh. It make me real laugh. And then that, and then boom, that, that's how I get. That's how I, I can break the ice. But I'm actually naturally funny. Like, I, I, I can make anybody laugh. I make the president laugh when I. Fuck that nigga, but the thing is, like, I could, I could make, I could make a person laugh on a bed that's the last day. So, look, if you can do that too, you gonna be good. You gonna like and just get the hang of, just get the hang of, you know, when to be funny and when not to be funny. But sense of humor is a good way to start a good, you know, genuine connection. 
Eight, stay up to date with the current events and ten, and trends to stay relevant in your personal and professional life. Stay stay up to date with the 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 trends. Stay up to date with with uh your astrology or like you know the pla- like the alignments like with the moon what which what specific, what specific you know two planets are are aligning with each other like stay up to date with you know things that's going to be happening in your life if your family if you got one of those if your family is going to you know come throw like a little family day fucking shit or stepdad i don't even know what the fuck it's called father's day <laughs> uh, father's day shit it then like um some, 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 but just stay up to date so you, you know, you could be on your shit and you don't be planning shit for, uh, you don't be planning shit for something that's not even, you know, you can, you can make it to. Cause like you'll be like, say you tell somebody, I'm gonna be there this day, but on that day you gotta go to this place, but you ain't know that because you didn't look at your schedule when it was time to stay up to the date with your current events and, you know, and like, if you wanna like, if you're in a uh, social media life, like you're seeing people trends and seeing what people are doing is to like look at what's relevant. You know, you don't have to. I won't say you have to do everything they doing to stay relevant, but you can look at what they do it and innovate something from their relevancy for your own life. Nine. Be open to change and new ideas. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo. So you know. Don't 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 be out here people pleasing. Don't be out here, you know, not trying to fully express yourself because you care how uh, a person is going to look at you and you feel like a cage or if it's a career position that you want to go for. If you don't think that I mean, if people don't think you have what it take for you to get that, you have to be the person to still go for it and say, fuck them, you know, like fuck them, you know, don't even let them, you know get to your you at all like let that shit be belittle you and be open to change and if someone gives you a new idea aka this video is a bunch of new ideas for y'all if y'all are not even into this but don't be afraid don't be afraid you know to change it up don't be afraid to you know get out the same old routine you know or if if, if somebody is like stepping on your toes don't be afraid to you know Step on their toes. If the, if somebody trying to uh make you like a fucking employee instead of the boss, you, you know challenge their core. Challenge them. Show them. You don't even. I don't. I wouldn't. It's not recommended to prove shit to anybody. I don't even think that's that's the worst. That's that's a waste of time. But you could be on your boss shit. And you could just show them, but do the boss be boss because of yourself. You know, don't don't be boss because like be a boss because inside you change to become a boss. Don't be a boss because you know these people you want they want you to prove to to them how much you a boss. They ain't shit. You ain't shit shit. So fuck it, fuck them. Go go about your go about you. And other than that though. <laughs> the last one, the last one, last and final one, last and final one. Use your gift of gaff to network and build a relationship with others. What a gift of gaff is, you can talk, you can persuade, you could like say the magical words to open the doors. And you know, just at this time with Mercury being a Gemini, everybody got this gift. So it's like you, if you a female, a dude might just say every, a bunch of nothing. Like, a, like a love, not like a bunch of, uh, lo- nothing love. Like they say a bunch of words, like lovey dovey words, but they don't mean none of it. They just trying to get your pussy. And if if you a dude, she say she tell you, she boosts your ego so high, she make you feel like you doing your shit. Then you go try to cheat. Then they 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 go humble your ass. <laughs> but like the thing. <laughs> But the thing is, I'm funny as fuck. But the thing is, right? Don't allow people, because you also have this ability too to use the gift of gab. So don't allow some people. They don't know how to use it, though. I'm be honest. Some people they don't know how to use it. How how you can use it? And then go look to listen to Burn Harmony. You, you'll know how Bone and Harmony. 
thug. I just type bone and then it, it pop up. <laughs> but, but, look, but look, but look, look. For real though. So be aware of the people, you know, who are, you know, saying things to you. Make sure that, you know, it makes sense. Make sure if somebody is telling you a bunch of love, lovey dovey shit, make sure you look for the actions before you just want to be like, submit. Don't submit to nothing. I don't care. Like, if they can't get you to believe it without, before they say it, I wouldn't believe it. Look, the, the, the eyes lie, the ears lie, shit, the mouth lie too. So the best thing to do, trust yourself. Hey, that was the Mercury and Gemini. You know, I'm gonna be coming in, breaking more, more, bringing more tips in. You know, this is my first real, like, you know, uh, astrology type of, you know, video. So, if you are into any astrology, let me know. So, you know, I can expand and I can grow. And you can too, because I ain't gonna lie, though. If you wrong and you think that I'm just gonna accept, like, like I'm gonna be like, yeah, you right, no. No, you gonna have to you gonna have to show me the car facts. You gonna let me in? Show me all the facts. This spaceship is a one though, not two. Peace. Oh shit.